Good morning, everybody. I am Rose. This is Chris. And this is our new bowling shirts that we got in Vegas. Give y'all a... <clears throat> give y'all a... If I was bowling tonight, I'd have mine on. I, I not that it's not rubbing it you, in. Yeah, yeah. Trust I know me, what you're doing. It's not rubbing it in. Mm -hmm. I just wanted the people to see. We do have sublimation means you do what? It's it's, it's it's in the fabric. In the material. I don't know the correct definition. But and it's in the fabric. you know what? Tomorrow, I will wear my favorite on tomorrow's show. I will wear my favorite, besides this one now, sublimation shirt that we had in softball. You know which one I'm going to wear already. The yellow one. But some, we, of, some of them, say, they've seen it. You've worn it before. But. Yeah, but I really I really like these kind of shirts. I like how they put the stuff in there and the material's kind of... I like these shirts that we have too, but like this, but... What is y'all's favorite shirt? What's now, your, that's a topic. Now, what, this is cutting edge. <laughs> We're going to the nitty-gritty. Social media right here. <laughs> What is your favorite type of shirt? Mine are the new, the next level shirts like these. They're a spun, a super sun, spun, soft cotton, and they fit really well for me. Right. They, I like how they fit me. Uh, so they're, they're a new shirt. It's a soft deal, soft level. If anybody has any of these, you know what I'm talking about. The backyard. Next level. Next level. Next level. Backyard has went to them as well for all our backyard shirts. So. And I wanted to go there because that's the kind of shirts I think everybody kind of, Walmart has them now and everything, those softer tees. And you said something that was the deal is you like them to fit you. Fit you. The way they fit me. The way they fit you. For me, I wish I had those like in a 4X. That would just hang. You know what I mean? Hang yeah. on you because I like my shit. On tomorrow's show, I'm going to wear a shirt that fits me <laughs> a little too tight. Okay, okay. But that's okay. I like it. Somebody may like it. And I want like to know. It's a medium. I want to know why. I, it's, not a, it's not a why <laughs> or not. Like, I just like my stuff baggy. I just do. I know it makes you look dumpy. I know it makes you look fat. I know it makes you look. I know it makes all those things. But I like the feeling of that just draping on you. I just like that. Why do you think people like, what, I mean, what makes you like them, you know, fit you good or, the, I, I just, sometimes just made, I mean, even me. I, li I like my shorts to be a little baggier. I, d I do have some now that fit a little better, better because after I lost that weight, the other ones look like my ass was about this long. <laughs> <laughs> and now I got me a couple of pairs that feel a little better. But I like them to be baggy for the simple fact. I hate when I sit down when I got a belt or something on and, and it, it feels you. tight. So I, I like for that to be loose. Uh, these shirts, I mean, I could wear a, I could wear an extra large and, and be okay. But the large fits me pretty well. You know, I don't have any excess stuff, so... I just want to know, and, and give me your opinion on the kind of, did you like your clothes a little snugger? Do you like them a little looser? Kind of what's the reason for it? it? It's not because you have to be in shape or out of shape because, you know, I could wear tight fitting stuff too. It's just, I don't like it. That's just my preference, but I want to know their preference. I mean, this is a, this could have been on 2020. I, I, I this, can't, I, they might be calling my iWatch. This could be it. Hello? But that's kind of some of the stuff I want to know is what makes you comfortable as human beings? Clothes are one. That just gave me a, somehow a topic for tomorrow's show just popped in my head while we were okay. talking. We'll use that for tomorrow. And I, had, I had brought it up the other day while traveling, and we'll, we'll talk about talk that about tomorrow. tomorrow. But for me, I like a shirt that, that fits a little bit snugger. Right, right. But it's soft. So, I, I have to agree with that. Even the baggy stuff, I like soft. Yeah, so for 10 minutes tomorrow, I'll be uncomfortable. Yeah. But it's my... Because wintertime, when it's cold, it's my river shirt. I, I enjoy a big sweatshirt or a big... Because all my jackets are 4Xs. I love that big, just 
kind of get you in there, like a little hug type of deal. Now, if these shirts didn't fit like like I like that they fit, I'd have to go a, a little bigger, bigger size. Yeah. This is a, I got to know what you guys think. Besides, this was our this was the I just want to show this off today. I don't I, want to, I really want to know. Most men don't care. Most most men uh, here just wear this today. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I want to know what women think. Because a lot of times, there's a woman who comes out and you go, can't you get something that fits? Or they come out and you go, could you get something that fits? I think that's their mentality like mine and yours. I, that's what I'd like to know. I mean, but I... I but, tomorrow, tomorrow show, I know that shirt's too tight. Yeah. And there's no way I could go out of the house with it, I don't think. You have to be honest with yourself. There's where I get where you're going. My baggy stuff does what? Makes me look fat. Makes me look dumpy. I know it. And I'm telling you, I know it. But guess what? I'm still going to wear I am not saying, dude, you got to look at my new baggy outfit. It's the, <laughs> right. it's the, it's the, it's the, it's the <clears> Now, if we were back knees. in our 20s and we were going out, he'd put a little tighter shirt on. Yeah, well, just was, to go out. This is the past, gentlemen. In the past, no. I did a lot of stuff. But I'm forget it. You you go away. You can't compare twenty to fifty. I didn't. Back I in just the said, day. Back in the day. Back in the day, you're absolutely right. I would wear. I didn't. I didn't even. I did. I have nothing else. I was just making a reference to these people that might not have known you back in their 20s to let them know that back in the 20s, you haven't always dressed like this. No. Have you? I have not. So all I'm saying is, in his 30s, if we were going out and he wasn't married, he would dress a little better. He would dress a little nicer. So now, I'm saying in today's times, you have become very comfortable being baggy. Yes, I have been. You're absolutely right. I'll go with that. That's actually a good state. So if you just let me finish my point, I'll, you, I'll, I was getting back to now. I'll, and I'll, now is you don't give a crap. That is that is true. That That is a good point. You're right. That And you got a good woman at home, so you don't have to throw your peacock feathers on yeah, and strut I'll, around. Dressing up was always kind of tough for me even back in the day but I would do it. It really was. That is weird too. I don't even own a suit. I, I don't own a suit either. I didn't but I dress up. I, I have to dress up from time to time but I don't own a suit. That is, that's a tough, that is a very good deal of even on Friday or Saturday we'd go out I would I would put the jeans on and the, or his the magic with sweater the one thing. or the overalls back in the 90s with the hang down for to th that look of, hey, you're going out to try to impress. But that just was a good point because I am, you're right, comfortable at this point where I just. Yeah, you don't, you don't, I you're don't not care. going to impress anybody. You're yeah. not going out to And even to anybody. these meetings I go now, I am going if I was to show up in a pants and suit, they'd be like, "Dude, there's something wrong with you." Now I don't know who you, I don't even know who you are, man. You're the shorts guy. But he will wear a nice pair of shorts and a nice shirt. Yes. If we are going to a meeting that they really don't know you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once yeah. they know you, he'd love to wear his bowling shirt. I did or wear the shirt he's gonna wear tomorrow on the show. I did wear slacks in the bowling in Vegas because you had to. Because you had to. Because you had to. Yeah. All right. Chicken fried steak today. Chicken fried steak. Mashed potatoes. It's going to be on point. Good stuff. And uh, Rhonda said yesterday, the ham and turkey club, because I left before lunch, was good. I had just left myself. I had just left. I had to go over and get goat's soap for my dog. It's also for human beings over at Matt the Findry. Thank you, Matt, for helping me. And... Goat soap. Goat soap. Bar soap. Made from goat's milk. 
feel like a tar soap or something like that. It's for I mean, us. It's for humans too, man. I, but they say but it, has no, it has no, it has no, yeah, chemicals and no, stuff no, in no, it. No. It's more natural. I'll let you know what it. Yeah, does. Megan brought me some from Austin. That was a it's all natural like a kind of deal, ball. man. It was awesome. So if you want some of that kind of soap, go over to Matt at the Findry. He'll hook you up, or all them women will. He didn't help me at all. Till tomorrow. And new shirts. And Different new shirts. shirts. What shirts? Do what? What's comfortable? What do you like? I am a. This is Chris. If you ain't scared. Take a picture and post it. Ooh. In what you have on. I agree with that. I like. Don't that. be scared. Post the shirt that make your your favorite shirt that you like to wear. And our sponsor of the day, I'm glad you did that. Elysium Fitness. Go get your pump on down on Washington. There's a lot of people that are going down there now because the gym's downtown. It's pretty dang good. It's a good looking gym. I am Russ. This is Chris. We're out of here.